بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المسلين وعلى آله وصحابه أجمعين ربي يسر ولا توسر وتمم بالخير اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا علما رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقده من لساني يفقهوا قولي one humble request before we start al quran institute is a quranic dawa and educational institute we would like to reach many others like you so your assistance will be greatly appreciated if you benefit from our videos please like share and subscribe our youtube channel jazakallahu khairan let's start inshallah alhamdulillah we have learned about verb form 1 to 10 part 1 or abwabul af'al in our last lesson and today we are going to study lesson 13 of module 2 and the topic is derived noun part to or ismul mushtaq inshallah let us recap what we studied in lesson 11 derived noun part 1 what is derived noun it is a noun that is derived from a root verb arabic words are usually derived from three letter root verbs and by manipulating these root letters and applying specific patterns various related words can be formed including verbs nouns and adjectives the importance understanding ismul mushtaq is fundamental for learners of arabic as it enables one to expand their vocabulary exponentially by learning the varied meanings that can be derived from a single set of root letters it also helps in comprehending the richness and depth of meaning in arabic texts especially in tafsir or quranic exegesis We have learned that ismul mushtaq or derived noun can act as shibu fa'il and we know that shibu fa'il is not actually a fa'il but acting like a fa'il out of all derived nouns ismul fa'il and ismul maf'ul commonly play the role of shibu fa'il acting like a verb five other derived nouns are rarely seen to play the role as shibu fa'il Alhamdulillah we have gone through the list of seven ismul mushtaq or derived nouns and they are ismul fa'il ismul maf'ul ismul zarf ismul ala ismut tafdil sifat mushabbaha and ismul mubalagha the term masdar refers to the verbal noun in arabic and it is considered as shibu fa'il which translate to like a verb or resembling a verb for example li ilaf quraish ilafihim rihlat ash-shita'i was-sa'if here ilafi of ilafihim rihlata although it's a masdar but playing the role of shibu fa'il for the maful rihlata derived noun acting as adjective or sifa remember all ismul mushtaq nouns are descriptive words and they are all known as sigaya sifat Although they can function in various grammatical roles such as ismul fa'il, ismul maf'ul, sifat mushabbaha, ismul mubalagha, etc. Which derived noun act as an adjective or sifat? The most common ones are ismul fa'il and ismul maf'ul. Ismul fa'il this can be a sifat if it is describing the quality of a noun ismul maf'ul this also can be a sifat if it is describing a quality of a noun derived nouns less commonly used as adjective or sifat ismul mubalagha sifat e mushabbaha ismut tafdil ismul mubalagha this can be a sifat as it exaggerates the quality of a noun sifat e mushabbaha this is explicitly a sifat as it's in the name it's a resembling adjective ismu tafdil this can also be considered a sifat as it describes the quality or attribute of nouns and in this case often compares these qualities between them just like adjectives do in english examples of ismul mushtaq in quran 
نمبر ون اسم الفعیل سورہ المران ورس تھرٹی نائن واہ وقائم یوسل فل محراب وائل ہسٹوڈ پرینگ ان دا سینچوری ہیئر قائم از اسم الفعیل الدو اٹ آلسو پلیز دا رول آف شبو فیل اینڈ ہل ہیئر سورہ بقرہ ورس ون ٹوینٹی فور انی جائی لکا لناسی اماما Indeed, I will make you a leader for the people. Here, Jailu is Ismul Fa'il. Number two, Ismul Maf'ul, Surah Al-Araf, verse 157. Al-lazi yajidu nahu maktuban indahum fit tawrati wal injili. That what they find which is written in their Torah and the Gospel. Here, maktuban is the Ismul Maf'ul. Number three, Ismu Zarf, Surah Baqarah, verse 114. وَمَنْ عَجْلَمُوا مِمْ مَمْ مَنْعَا مَسَاجِدَ اللَّهِ أَيُّزْكَرَ فِي حَسْمُهُ Who does more wrong than those who prevent Allah's name from being mentioned in His places of worship? Here, Masajida is Ismu Zarf. Number four, Ismu Al-Ala, Surah An-Nur, verse 35. فيها مصباح المصباح في زجاجة in which there is a lamp the lamp is in a crystal cover with glass اسم التفضل سورة بقرة verse 217 والفتنة أكبر من القتل for persecution is far worse than killing وإخرج أحله منه أكبر عند الله Expelling the worshippers from it, the sacred mosque, is a greater sin in the sight of Allah. Number six, sifat mushabbaha It conveys the meaning of likeness or resemblance in some quality or attribute, but pointing towards the duration, longevity, or permanence. Surah Tawbah, verse 102. Inna allaha ghafoorur rahim. Rahimun means always or permanently merciful. This is a form of sifat mushabbaha where it indicates the continuity of mercy from Rahima, he had mercy. Note, Rahimun can also mean most merciful indicating the intensity that will be called Ismul Mubalaga. See below. Number seven, Ismul Mubalaga. It often emphasizes the intensity, frequency, or manner of the action of the verb. Surah Baqarah, verse 32. لا علم لنا إلا ما علمتنا إنك أنت العليم الحكيم We have no knowledge except what you have taught us. You are truly the all-knowing, all-wise. Alhamdulillah. On the screen you can see The patterns of Ismul Mushtaq. This is a must memorize chart. Please write it down a few times and memorize them as much as you can, inshallah. We shall go from right to left. First column has got Ismul Fa'il, which we all are familiar with. For simplicity, I would suggest that you memorize the derived nouns which are highlighted in red color. At this stage, we shall focus on The derived noun or ismul mushtaq, which is derived from form 1. Although derived noun from form 2 and others will have different patterns. So ismul fa'il, the pattern is fa'ilun. It is the subject and there is no time frame or any specific information. Just standard fa'ilun. Ismul maful, example is maf'ulun. It means the object on which the action has been done. Ismu zarf or Ismu zaman wal makan. There are two patterns and they are maf'alun, mif'alun. Zarf indicating time and place. Ismu ala, it means tools or instruments. The patterns are mif'alun, mif'alatun. Ismu tafdil, af'alu fu'ula. They are used as comparative or superlative isms. Sifate mushabbaha bi ismil fa'il. It means sifate mushabbaha is also an ismul fa'il as well as. It's a sifat means describing some quality 
of the action similarity but with longevity duration time frame the most common pattern is fa'ilun please note that it is a lazim or intransitive verb ismul mubalagha gives hyperbolic or intensive meaning there are quite a few patterns in this type of ismul mushtaq but we will look at few common patterns most common is fa'ilun now you notice that fa'ilun is also a pattern of sifat e mushabbaha and fa'ilun is also a pattern in ismul mubalagha looking at their meaning you can differentiate which one it is because sifat e mushabbaha means longevity duration and ismul mubalagha means hyperbolic or intensive meaning fa'ilun as ismul mubalagha will be a muta'addi verb or transitive verb so the most common pattern of ismul mubalagha is also fa'ilun then other common patterns are fa'alu rahmanu ghaffaru ghafurun rahimun malikun alhamdulillah we shall now have a look at the detailed examples one by one inshallah first ismul maful please note that we have taken some examples of derived noun from different forms of verbs such as form 1 form 2 form 5 and form 10 just to show the varieties to you the examples will have its madi form and ismul fa'il form and then ismul maful form please follow from the right hand side column qara'a it means he read Ismul fa'il of qara'a would be qari'un reader ismul maful of that would be maqru'un what is read another form one verb kataba he wrote ismul fa'il katibun the writer ismul maful maktubun what is written sami'a he heard sami'un listener or someone who heard masmu'un What is hard? Qala, he said. Qailun, the speaker. Maqulun, what is told? Form two example. Sarrafa, it changed. Musarrifun, changer or the doer. Then ismul maful is musarrafun, what is changed? Example of form five. Taqabbala, he accepted. Mutaqabbilun, the one who accepted. ismul fa'il then ismul maful is mutaqabbalun what is accepted example of form 10 verb istansara he asked for help ismul fa'il mustansirun the one who asked for help ismul fa'il mustansarun mashallah let's look at some patterns and examples of ismul zarf time and place Most common examples of ismu zarf in Quran maf'ilun pattern masjidun mashriqun maghribun maf'alun pattern makhrajun madkhalun matbaqun ismu zarf maf'alun pattern kharaja he got out makhrajun exit shariba he drank mashrabun drinking place dakhala he entered madkhalun entrance tabakha he cooked matbakhun kitchen ismu zarf maf'ilun pattern sajada he prostrated masjidun mosque sharaka it rose mashrikun east where sun rises gharaba it set maghribun west where sun sets next we are going to discuss ismul ala which means instrument from fataha he opened miftahun key opener raa he saw and ismul ala is miratun mirror wazana he weighed mizanun scale to weigh we shall be looking at ismut tafdil now the most common patterns of ismut tafdil is af'alu and the next common pattern is fu'la ismu tafdil would be comparative or superlative please note that af'alu pattern is diptote or ghairu munsarif 
It is same for singular, plural, masculine, and feminine. When it means comparison, there will be a mean used for that purpose. Fi may be used for superlative purpose. For example, Hamid is the best in the class. Hamidun wal afdalu fil fasli. Let's look at some more examples. Bilalun ahsanu min Hamidun. Comparative. Bilal is better than Hamid. Wa man ahsanu min Allahi hukman. Comparative. But who is better than Allah in judgment? Wal'adhabul akhirati akbaru. Superlative. And indeed, the punishment hereafter is the greatest. Allahu a'lamu bima ta'amaloon. Superlative. Allah knows most about what you do. We shall now look at some examples of sifat mushabbaha. And the most common patterns are fa'ilun and it's a lazim verb. We shall also show you some examples of other pattern of sifat mushabbaha. First, fa'ilun pattern. Karuma to become kind. Karimun permanently kind. Azuma to become great. Azimun continuously great. Sagura to become small. Sagirun always small. Kabura to become big. Kabirun permanently big. Afalu pattern. Savida to become black. Aswadun always black. Faalun pattern. Sauba to become tough. Sa'bun always tough. Bakhasa to become less. Bakhsun always less. Faalun pattern. Hasuna to become excellent. Hasanun permanently excellent. Fi'lun pattern. Da'ufa to become weak. Di'fun Di'fun always weak. Fu'alun pattern. Shaju'a to become brave. Shuja'un permanently brave. Fa'ilun pattern. Khashuna to become hard. Khashinun always hard. Fa'ilun pattern. Taba to become good. Tayyibun continuously good. Fu'ulun pattern. Janaba to become impure. Junubun permanently impure. We shall now look at Ismul Mubalaga expressing intensity. Again, we will show you examples of different patterns. Fa'alun pattern. Ghafara to forgive. Ghaffarun most forgiving. Razaka to provide. Razzaqun most provider. Next, Fa'ulun pattern. Although this is not a common pattern of Ismul Mubalaga and it is considered as Ismul Fa'il or active participle, however, in its meaning, it gives intensity. Example, Ghafara to forgive. Ghafurun, most forgiving. Shakara to become grateful. Shakurun, most grateful. Next, Fa'ilun. This is the most common pattern of Ismul Mubalaga. Alima, to know. Alimun, most knowing. Rahima, to be merciful. Rahimun, most merciful. Sami'a, to listen or hear. Sami'un, most hearing. Next pattern is Fu'ulun. Qadusa, to become pure. Uddusun, most pure. Next pattern Fi'ilun, sadaqa, to speak truth. Siddiqun, most truthful. Next pattern, fu'alatun or fu'ulatun. Hamaza, to backbite. Humazatun, lumazatun, most backbiter. Fa'alatun pattern. Alima, to gain knowledge. Allamatun, most knowledgeable. Fu'alun pattern. Kafara, to disbelieve. Kuffarun, most disbeliever. Fa'alanu pattern. Rahima, to be kind. Rahmanun, most kind. Alhamdulillah. We have reached the end of this lesson. I hope you found it helpful. Please repeat watching this video a few more times and study the PDF file together. For reference, you may visit our over 60 YouTube video series for module 1. Barakallahu feekum. ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم آمين يا رب العالمين
One request before you go. Al-Quran Institute is a Quranic Dawah and Educational Institute. We would like to reach others like you. So if you benefited from this video, please share with others and most importantly, please subscribe our channel and like the videos. Don't forget to watch other video series on Quranic Arabic course. Barakallahu fikum. Rabbana taqabbal minna innaka anta samiul alim. Amin ya rabbal alameen. Subhanaka Allahumma wa bihamdik Ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk